Hey guys and welcome back, this is Chosen Architect and today I want to start making a heavy sieve. I want to get into auto sieving so we can get an unlimited amount of these ores over here so we will no longer have to worry about doing this by yourself. Um, in the first step I just want to make a heavy sieve and I know we're also going to need an auto compressed hammer eventually but right now I want to make the sieve because I currently have a way of uh, ores being hammered and me compressing them is no big deal. Um, it's easy to, to compress but we're actually going to make an auto compressor as well today which is very easy to make. But uh, first off let's talk about this uh, auto sieve. Um, it requires some power um, but it also requires these steel ingots and as you can see it's switching between Tinker's Construct and Immersive Engineering. Um, the immersive engineering one is the one that we want and it's, as you can see um, it requires either a induction smelter, a blast furnace, or an arc furnace. Um, it takes two pulverized coal and looks like pulverized iron to make steel. Pulverized, two pulverized coal and iron. Um, I don't think it works in alloy, alloy smeltery, um, but we can definitely try it out first. I wanted to do that before I had to make a induction smelter. So, um, it takes pulverized coal, which I should have in here. If I don't, it's in one of these chests. That's right here. Okay, so pulverized coal, and what was it, iron dust? Pulverized iron? Yeah, it's pulverized iron. Okay, so some pulverized iron. So we go ahead and get our iron. Let's uh, go ahead and pulverize some iron because we're going to need it anyways. Do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do ten of those. And let's just while we're here see if this even works. We'll put it in alloy mode. Pop that in there. Okay, so it will not work in the alloy smeltery. So we're going to have to make an induction smelter. And let's see. Okay, it requires some invar. Um, and to make invar, which I actually have some, but to make invar, all it takes is this ferrous ingot or nickel ingot and two iron, and it'll give you three invar for that. So, um, I already have some invar because uh, I went ahead and made some up, but I just used this ferrous right here and mixed it with the iron and it gives you this ferrous. Alright, and we're going to take this ferrous and we're going to use it to make these parts right here. We need two of those. Alright, so that's perfect. And let's go back. We don't need that. We need to wait for basic machine casing. Basic. Okay, so it's going to require some glass, a tin, and iron. So let's go get our tin. Find our tin. That's silver. I think this is tin. Okay, so we got our tin. Grab us another thing of iron just in case. Um, and we're also going to need some redstone. We'll take two of those, one of these. And we should be set. I think that's all it takes some glass. Or glass. I think that was it. Let's see. There it is. We already have all the stuff for that, right? Okay, so we're needing glass, iron, oh we have to make this first. Then we'll go ahead and make the casing. Just like that. But it wasn't iron, it was the gear in the middle. Alright, and we, sh we need to make this. And we should have this thing ready to go, right? Let's see. We 
already have the gears, we have the Invar. We're just waiting on it to be, oh, we need a bucket. I think we have one right behind us. Completely disregarding the bucket. Perfect. All right, now we have an induction smelter. I'm gonna place that over here. I don't think it'll get power directly. Okay, so it does, it does get power directly. Perfect. So that's something we don't have to worry about. Okay, locks flux shot. Don't know what this does, that's something new. Um, but, as you remember, let's see, it's gonna take some pulverized with some iron. It takes two per, so we need to see how many we're actually gonna need, because it takes a lot, it looks like. That gives us one steel. Right here, we're gonna need, man, we're gonna need a lot. So it requires steel blocks. So that's nine, that's 18, 20. We're gonna need 20 of these. So let me go ahead and grind up. We already have 10. Yeah, that'll be. That'll be ten. Okay. So we'll, we need ten of those, and I don't think we have enough. We need forty of these. Have to grab us more coal. Thirty-seven. We need three more. We'll pulverize some coal up. And throw that in there. Actually, we should have enough. There's one. We'll only need two. I'll go ahead and toss all that in there. So it'll get, get going. The more we can get done, the better. Let's toss that coal in there. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and let this steel work its way through, and I'll be right back whenever uh, this steel finishes up. Okay, so we actually got more than we needed, just one more than we needed. That's it kind of messed up there. But, um, we can actually get started. I'm pretty sure we have enough right now. So we need two blocks. Two steel blocks. And we need two of those. And we need some glass panes. And we are going to go ahead and throw our heavy sieve in there. So, I'm going to break this guy. And say goodbye to you. And glass panes. Our auto heavy sieve. Perfect. All we have to do is hook this up to power. And the best way to do that right now, I guess, is to throw it up here. Look at that guy on the inside. Okay. Um, it's gaining a bunch of power and it requires 40 RF per tick. And you fill it up. Looks like it's got a book there. I don't exactly know what to look for. Maybe for enchantments for speed or something like that? Don't know. But, it's going crazy. I guess because it can have a bunch of, net, bunch of different names. Alright, well, well, let's see if it works. Um, take some of this. And just throw it in there. Okay, so it's not the fastest thing, but it looks like this right here will, uh, maybe there's an enchantment, an enchanted book that'll maybe make it better. Yeah, this is going crazy. All those different names. And this right here, 
don't know if we're gonna we're gonna have to make a few of these I know that but eventually we'll have all these machines all these auto we'll have the auto hammer or auto compressed hammer with the cobblestone generator auto compressing into the auto compressor and then from the auto compressor I'll go into a sieve and then it'll go back into a hammer where or it'll go back into a compressor then it'll go into a hammer then it'll go back into a compressor then it'll go into another hammer and then eventually I think after three compressed leave there'll be four compress four auto compressors there'll be two hammers I think because you'll have to go through gravel then sand and dust is the last step so yeah two of these we'll need one of those and we already have the this one right here well this will do this for us as we wait and this is so funny looking look at that He's just going crazy in there. But for right now, um, this is actually go not going to be enough power. Um, I don't think. Because maybe it is. This just isn't... Well, it looks like it's sustaining it pretty good. Since these are off. This requires 40 RF, and I thought this only produces 20. So maybe it produces more than that. It looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, it's, it's holding its own. So maybe it produces 40. Well, looky there. So we already got diamond. This might be a fortune enchant, I don't know. But it seems to be doing pretty good. And I'll just leave it alone. So today we have actually got ourselves a auto sieve and got it up and running. So, yay. I'm excited. Uh, what I might do is have this auto sieve, of course, empty its inventory. You probably have to use a um, item transfer node, more than likely, and have it put its items in a chest. I have a chest. I have chest in my inventory. Put it in a chest, or actually just put it in here. That's probably what I'll do. So let's take this, and I don't have any pipes They're right here. So have them. There we go, just like that, and it should start filling up. Maybe. Yep. Filling up and emptying into here. Everything's looking mighty fine. Perfect. And then whenever this is done, uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a compressor, or, or compressor right here, auto compressor. So it's going to take some crafting tables and some iron. We need an iron block, just like that. And I don't think we need those. We need four ingots, and we need some wood. That should be enough. Or crafting tables, we'll make ourselves a compressor. And I don't know if this requires power. I think it does. Hmm. Well, how am I going to do that? You know what I could just do? Pop it right here. I'm going to stick it there. It's going to actually get a bunch of power. Let's go ahead and break this connection here because I don't exactly need it. there and it all went into a hopper so I'm gonna stick it on top here should start going in here coal I don't exactly want in there or do I want flint but this will automatically start working if anything it'll make it coal block I don't know if it's Part of this. Flint, yeah, it's kind of something I don't exactly want going in there. I'd have to get a filter. Set up an item filter. Probably be the best thing to do. And we're getting all this. And then I'll take another transfer node. And 
I guess it can go into the hopper. I don't know if it does. No, it doesn't go into the hopper. But it should go into the chest. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Now I can take all this out of here. Don't need that. Throw this into the compressor. Just like that. Perfect. And we have some kind of contraption going on here. I'll definitely clean this up in a later video. So for now, I think we are done. I think it looked like it stopped there for a minute. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also click that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.